Hi everyone. I'm going to show you today some of the really new core cool features of Google Classroom. So the following videos are going to look at how we can add a rubric, how we can access originality reports, which is Google's way of looking at plagiarism, how students may copy and paste from the internet and how they may be using citations within their work. We'll also look at how we can use the new marks tab in the corner here. But first of all, I'd like to dive in and show you the new screen for creating a new assignment. So if we click on create and then we go to assignment, what that now does, it brings up a full screen. It used to be just a window within Google Classroom. So this offers a little bit more space on the screen for you to actually do your assignment. So I'm going to add an assignment here and we're just going to do a Obviously you can put some instructions in here, but what I'd like to show you is this, these new features at the bottom. Now we used to be able to add something, so we can click on add, we can go to Google Drive. So in previous iterations of Google Classroom, what you used to do, you'd have to go to Google Drive, you'd have to create your template, and then you'd add your Google Drive template from recent documents. Well, you don't need to do that anymore. You can actually create the document from within creating assignment. So here now you can actually create the document and then you've got all your different options here. And Google Drawings and Google Forms are new. So these now you can create Google Drawings and Forms within the document as well. So we're going to just create a simple document. What that does, it opens up that Google document in a new tab, as you can see here. And then you can create your template. So this might be English Assignment. We can add to our assignment here, our assignment template. I'm just going to leave this blank. And then we can close it. That will change once we refresh the screen. Then over here, we can then choose from our menu, make a copy for each student, and then we can assign it. Now, remembering over here that we've got the option to choose multiple classrooms. This is not new. And then we've also got this option to create an assignment for individual students or groups of students. Again, that's not new as well. We've got points here and due date and topic, all features that existed in Google Classroom before. But now we've also got these options to create a rubric and originality reports. If you want to find out about rubrics, click the card in the corner now in the top right corner. If you want to find out about originality reports, you can click on the card in the corner that's displaying right now and you can find out more about those. So what I'm going to do is assign that. That's now assigned. I didn't give it a topic, so it's in my list of assignments here. I've got the option here on the three drop down menus to edit it, to delete it. The copy link, this is very good if you want to email that link out to the students. Um, or teachers for that matter. And now I'm going to look at the student view. So here is our student view. Let's go into classwork and you can see here the test assignment for English. So there is my assignment and you can see it's actually taken the name of the assignment. So I can click that, it opens the assignment and then the students can then create their assignment. So that's the new assignment screen within Google Classroom. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos. Until next time, goodbye.